the idea of a small language model is that it can be cheaper and it can be a lot faster. So all of the larger, you know, frontier labs like OpenAI and Google and, and even, you know, even uh, Meta with, with Llama, they introduce tinier versions like Llama 7B or, you know, OpenAI's O1 Mini or GPT Mini. Like those are tiny versions that don't have as many parameters, but there can be a lot faster. And in some cases, they are, they're really, really good as well. So this year we saw where you can have this smaller, tiny models, you know, reduce the cost and then add speed and efficiency as well. That's been really exciting because now we can deploy these small models into you know, local hardware and, and and they can be put into phones and they can be put into a lot of different places. And, and of course, they can reduce the cost tremendously because you can't just run these massive models for every single task in order to put it into your product. Sometimes you, you know, I don't need to use a GPT-4 uh, for, for like, you know, categorization, right. Or for sentiment analysis, like I can just use a, a mini or I can use llama tiny or, or one of those very, very cheap models that are super fast in order to do this task that doesn't require the larger ones. 